picture right here so it's like a circle with the chocolate chip and then in the middle you put the sugar cookie i don't know how it's gonna taste but it seems like it's cool so yeah first things first um you gotta preheat the oven so we already preheating the oven or whatever and then i guess we put the put the foil yeah put the foil on there Do you think we need, do we need butter? No, because it's all non -stick. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to take the cookie with the, the chocolate chip cookies and we're going to place them on the pan. Okay? I think we got to roll them up in balls. Like two in a ball. Okay. Like, so we're going to take two and roll them up in a ball, like so. And then flatten it with our hands like this. Um, so you can, put the, you can put the ball But it's going to make the cookie too flat. So you got to just do it like this. And then put the other one on top of it. It's still going to be like this, not too flat. Because okay. then when it bakes, it's going to get like flat, flat. OK. Right. OK, so we're going to roll. Oh. <laughs> Hey yo! We're gonna <laughs> y'all get what I'm trying to say. So we're gonna roll these and then we're gonna put them all on the the thing. Well, I can't even say that because uh, I've been in the kitchen cooking. Uh -huh. I bake. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen baking like a stir fry. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, shit. Why don't you just eat it? You can eat it. Yuck. I don't think this is a cookie that you can eat, though. This is all cookies that you can eat, no? I don't think it's fun. So now we're going to take our little snowflake. Snowflakes, snowman, snowman, not snowman. <laughs> Our little snowman, snowman. snowman cookies, and we're gonna put them on the. We're gonna put them on the. On top of the. Chocolate God chip. dang! Yeah, on top of. The we're gonna put the snowman, uh, cookies on top of the chocolate chip cookies, and then it's gonna make magic. That's basically what she's Period. Trying to say. Okay. I mean, hopefully it make magic. This is our first time doing it, so it might be ass. I don't know. No, it's gonna make magic. So this is what it looks like. All right, so we have the chocolate chips on top of, I mean, <laughs> we have the sugar cookies on top of the chocolate chips. And yeah, I hope they come out the way they, I'm picturing it. See this picture? Yeah, so I'm hoping it comes out like that. And yeah, so now we're gonna put it in the oven. Um, so we don't like our cookies hard. We like them whole chewy. So it says bake 10 to 14 minutes. So we're probably gonna, let's, let's see what they look like at 10 minutes. So they set the timer. So we're setting the timer for 11 minutes. Because this birthday is January 11th, so. Uh, grab a mitt. Oh, you can just put it there like that. So while the cookie 
cookies are baking in the oven. We're gonna go ahead and answer all the questions that you guys have put on Instagram. And so we're gonna go ahead and start. So the first question we have is, when did y'all start dating? You wanna take it away? Um, we started dating uh, the day after Valentine's Day. Am I right? That's not dating. That's not became your girlfriend. Oh, um. They said, when did y'all start dating? I was like, they didn't know who was dating. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's not a tricky, tricky answer, but I don't know. When I'm talking to someone, I don't just say we're dating. We're, we're getting to know each other. Yeah, That's so we were kind of, it's like friend, like a friendship. So I guess like our friendship turned into us dating. Kind of, right? So we were friends for a while and then we just started dating just from being friends. So I don't even know. So when did that happen? Like three, four years ago? Back in 2019. <laughs> so the next question we have is what motivates y'all? Uh, I, uh, I say my family. Uh, I know my, my brothers and sisters. They look up to me a lot, and uh, you know, I want to make sure that they don't um, they don't go through what I went through when I was a child. So yeah, I would say my brothers and sisters. For sure. Um, I don't know what motivates me. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I would have to say it is. You know, I, I that's what I say when people ask me like, what motivates me. It's just the the faith, the love, the trust, the confidence that I have in the Lord just helps me be able to do the things that I want to do. So I'm just, I put all my, my trust and faith, faith in Him and I just see the things that He does for me and I that is what motivates me in life. I just like, wow, I can do this for some, I can help somebody else. I guess, hmm, how should I say this? I always ask God to bless me so that I can bless others and use me so that I can help others in the world. So I guess that's the type of things that motivates me. Just seeing smiles on people's faces, seeing them grow and being able to be who they want to be and just helping them be the best them that they can be. So I guess that's what motivates me. The next question is, what are you both looking forward to in 2023? I would say our trip to Thailand. That's what we could forward to. For the whole year? I mean, I'm not looking forward to the, uh, the plane ride. <laughs> I can give a fuck about that, but I mean, yeah, it'll be, it's gonna be fun. But uh, I'm looking forward to my businesses that I'm starting. So, uh, yeah. you know, I, there's some nights where I can't sleep because I'm, I'm, I'm highly motivated. So that's what I'm looking forward to. So the next question is, what advice do you have for young entrepreneurs that want to start blogging? Just do it. Like, that's all I did. I just had to just do it. That's literally how simple it is. Just get your camera, take your phone, whatever the case may be, and just start. Like, just start. Do what makes you happy. If it makes you happy, if it makes you feel good, you look back and like, oh my God, that was so funny to me. But you want to get two views, like, you still be happy. Like, and just continue to post consistently, and then you'll start seeing and reaping results from that. So, boom. The next question is, was the last time y'all both cried? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I really you know the last time I cried? Every day. Ah! Oh, why? I did not like tears. Mm -hmm. Oh no. I mean, happy, happy tears, yeah. Any sad tears, not really. But I'm saying you ain't cry no happy tears either. We cry happy tears. When I watch this one show, so maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He said when he watched the show. How long ago was the show? Last week. Okay. You were asleep. <laughs> I don't want her seeing it. <laughs> the next question is, what is more important to y'all, love or stability? I would say love because no matter what, when you chase your dreams, you're going to succeed as long as you keep pushing. Um, and the more you believe in God, the more you have faith in Him, your, your goals, your aspirations is always going to come. But falling in love with that right person and, and trying to connect with that right person it's not fucking easy. You think this shit is easy? It's easy. I'm just playing. But it's, it's, I don't know, you know, just, I, w I would say love. Yeah, I would say love too. Because I feel like when you're in love with the right person, the stability will happen. 
So when you talk about love and stability, like both 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 people come into a relationship and you're supposed to like learn how to like build together, so on and so forth. So you can always, you know, grow with stability. But I would say love more because you can be stable and hate each other. So so the next question is how often do you both pray? Every day. I mean I me personally, probably like four times a day. I don't know. I pray on my food. Mm -hmm. I pray uh, for when we get up and start our day. Mm -hmm. Pray to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I I could just <laughs> we be... just be praying throughout the day. Like if something like we can see like somebody on the side of the road that I might be homeless or a car accident that happens or just something and we'll just be like you know we'll pray for that situation or those people even at work you know some things happen or on social media if you see yeah something. we just. We just pray. We pray all the time. And we pray together all the time. So, Alright, so the next question is, at what moment did you both know that you were each other's one? You just got to feel it. And as long as you keep that feeling, as long as, as, long as it, feels, it feels right, then you just got to go for it. Yeah. I would say it's the same thing. It's a feeling. The next question we have is, how are you guys adjusting to California? It was hard at first, but I feel like it's pretty good now. What you think? Yeah, I was homesick. I mean, I'm still homesick, but at the same time, it just it comes with growing. Once you grow, the more you grow, the the better. Y'all know I've been going from home for yes. a long time, baby. So I ain't homesick. We're to explore. Oh shit! Do that again. What? <laughs> Bye. The fuck was that? All right, you guys. So this is what they're currently looking like at 11 minutes. They're really, really fluffy. If you guys can see, but they're coming out pretty good. So, all right, back to the video. All right. So the next question is, what are relationship deal breakers? Um, I say communication. Uh, I think. Um, communicating in a relationship is so big, it's so big, and if you don't have communication, it's always going to be fallouts, it's always going to be arguments, it's always going to be he say, she say, it's always going to be you can't hear me out, it's always going to be a whole bunch of bullshit, and me personally, if my own mama don't yell at me and don't scream at me, I wouldn't want another woman doing that to me, I'm not saying that she does that, but I'm just saying like, you have to have communication, you got to know how to talk to each other so that you don't say the wrong things or say things that you don't mean or lash out and not knowing what someone meant or how someone wanted to state something. So I just say communication because it's big. I can agree with that. And it makes a lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? Like that's to me, that's to me and in, in this generation, that's like the biggest deal breaker. No one has communication and they just go based off their feelings and then they fuck up. So. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, Cheating, that's the deal breaker. If I smell, sniff, anything, <laughs> baby. Baby. The next question is, how did y'all meet and details about y'all first date? So if you don't know, Eric and I met at dance class. So in Orlando, we went to a dance class and literally we, we're gonna save that for when we get engaged or like- No, she lied. When she we lied. get married because no. we need our friends around to really tell that story because I feel like I have my side and you have your side because he, he say that I was- I'm gonna tell you my side. This is my side right here. I was not eyeing No, you, no, no. This is my side. I saw her at dance class and she was with her friends and then she was acting up. I was like, why this girl acting up for? Why she- What the hell was that? I was like, why this girl acting up for? Why she acting like that? Then this girl started twerking and getting all nasty. I said, do you- Nasty, I said, do you- Do your mama know you do that? <laughs> you are lying! Do your mama know you do that? <laughs> you are not, not, that's not the real story. So I had to go tell her by herself and then- it's That's not the real story. So that's not the real, that's not the real story, okay? We're going to save that for another day. That's like a whole video. We need like all of our friends here to actually tell the real story. So, uh, actually we're gonna save that because literally i see him you know it, it's a whole you, whatever you know we won't, Next we won't question. say that we'll say that so the other part was details about y'all first date so the first day we went on it was, we went to universal that was like our first day right when we went to the um i don't consider partying a date it wasn't even we didn't even party we, partied. we did we went to this we went yes 
yeah, we went um, we went to this little bar thing. We was just watching uh, none people that, that was dancing. <laughs> so dance. what was our first date? I don't know. I, it was a lot. I don't, I don't know. know. We we did a lot. Uh, I was, was, I, no, was no, 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 no. I got okay, it. Okay, no, no. We I was, know it. What? It was um better than sex. Yes. Okay. That was, I would consider that to be our first date. We went to better than sex, and it was fun. And that was we just won't leave it at that. <laughs> Okay, that's what we went. Wait, what happened? The next question is, how long have you guys been together? Probably like two years and knowing each other for like a year. We met in August 2019. So, um, so we've known, oh, so we known each other for three years and been in a relationship for about two years. The next question is, favorite restaurant, Kobe Steakhouse. Um, but not the Kobe's next to uh, Lee Vista. Fuck you. <laughs> yes, uh, his favorite restaurant is Kobe's. My favorite restaurant in the whole wide world. If y'all didn't see the other video when I posted the Breakfast Club, go in here and watch the video. Come back to this video. Thank you. But my favorite is the Breakfast Club. So that's on big period. How is that your favorite and you didn't eat all the food? <sighs> it was a lot of food. That don't mean it's not my favorite because I didn't eat all the food, though. So we're gonna take the cookies out. Stop! <laughs> we're taking them out. Look what I did. I did this all by myself. Show boy. So this is what the cookies are currently looking like right now. We have to let them cool and then we will try them. So the next question we have is, when is Eric dropping the music? Um, this is from one of his biggest fans. I don't know. I think you should drop a Christmas song. Though. Put him up to the challenge. So maybe on my birthday. Yeah, I just say my birthday. I don't. I really don't know. I record. He makes music just, every day. I don't know. <laughs> only only God knows. <laughs> All right. So the next. And last and final question is, there's more questions, but we're just picking out the, we're just picking out questions, like questions from the whole play. Because it's a lot, man. It's a lot of questions. So the next one is, what's your favorite pastime together and not going to Target? <laughs> we are always at Target. That's like, that's our happy place, like Target. Like, um, I say our road trip. That, to California? Yeah. <laughs> that was... Beauty and the Beast. Yes, the it was. was. It definitely was. I will have to agree with it. Oh, no, there's one other question I want to answer. So it says, what keeps you strong and motivated to press through life? Prayer and your relationship with God. As long as you have a relationship with God, nothing can go wrong. Like, keep your trust and faith in God and everything will go the way that it's intended to go. Okay, so the next question is, what's the best gift to give your man for Christmas? So the best gift to give your man for Christmas is literally just knowing your man. Like, if you know him, then you know what to get him. Cause something that costs $10 and that was very thoughtful could be way more sentimental than something that costs $200, $2,000. So why go and do all of that? If you really know them, then you know what truly matters to them. So I can't say much, but you know, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm making us what it do because we both pay attention to each other, so we know what each other likes and you know what we want and stuff like that. So it's just really fun for us when it comes to giving gifts. And he gives me like flowers and gifts like that, like all throughout the year. It doesn't have to be anything special. So that's what I really love. I do the same thing for him. So yeah, know your man. Period. All right, you guys. So this is how our cookies came out, just like we wanted it. <laughs> now it's time for the tasting. Okay, here we go. What's your name? I've been hot, but I've been good. Get you some milk. You got it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And press that bell notification so you are notified every time I post. Bye, Sheet Crew.